Hello, this is Joanna from ilovetocutpaper.blogspot.com. Today I'm sharing with you a print and cut project using my Pazzle Studio Pro software with my Pazzle's Inspiration Cutting Machine. This will be part A of the print and cut tutorial using ice cream coupons from Lettering Delight. If you want to try this print and cut tutorial with me, you'll find the link to purchase this coupon on my blog. I have had lots of requests to do a video on print and cut using my puzzles. Jo has done about three different um, videos on print and cut and Richard has um, a step-by-step -step screenshot tutorial on his blog Cut and Creativity. Today I'm going to show you the technique that works for me and hopefully for you. So with the help of my 14 year old son who has been helping me with the editing of this video here goes. So the first thing I do is um, open up my uh, software and go to create and make my page 12 by 12 inches. Um, this is my preference. Um, you can have centimeters or whatever you like, but I like to work in inches. So here we go. So I've got my page here and the first thing I want to do is make sure my settings on my page are in inches and 12 by 12 which they are and hit OK. Now I want to import my graphics file which I've downloaded so I'm going to select and drag and drop into my puzzles or you could go into file import image and do it that way. I like to drag and drop and I'm going to just shrink this down because I want it a bit smaller and now I'm going to go to view and select uh, show printer page because this is where my uh, this is my page where I'm going to print everything um, and later I like to move it onto my cutting mat so first of all I'm going to make my registration boxes um, so I'm going to select the rectangle on the toolbar here and I'm going to just draw a little box um, and select it um, and I'm going to drag my colour over here and just make it blank for the time being. I'm going to select C to open my transformation menu here and in with condensed highlighted I'm going to make my box 0.6 on the width I'm going to make it 0.6 on the height and select apply. Um, I'm then going to multiply this so I'm going to go right click multiply and I'm going to multiply it four times I'm going to have my spacing at 0.5 and I'm going to select the left arrow key and OK and I have one, two, three, four, five little boxes I'm going to colour each one because this is going to enable me to make sure that I have got the blade at the correct point when I'm going to cut out my coupon so you can choose whatever other colour you'd like. I'm going to make my first box black. So select it and left click on the little box here in the colour menu. Let me drag it over here. Left click for the fill, right click for the line colour. Move on to select the next box and I'm going to make this pink. Left click on the pink right click for the pen colour, left click on the next box which is yellow and right click for the pen line and select the next one which is going to be red, left click, right click and the last one which is going to be green and you can choose whatever colour you want but they're the ones that I like to use. Then I'm going to group all of these select group. Now I'm going to go to my little coupon, ice cream coupon, good for one. 
and uh, because it's a graphics it's a, an image I'm going to need to auto trace it so I go to the right hand side and auto trace select auto trace and as it's colored I need to select this box here with the four colors so select it and click on the image with the cogwheels and I want to move this slider bar right over to the right as far as possible to make it a black silhouette and select OK and I can select OK in the vectorization box now now I need to select the graphics file and the auto trace cut line here and I'm going to go to justification and move across to the top here and you will see these justification tools and I'm going to move to the one that says horizontal and vertical select it and it will put that black auto trace line on top of the coupon and there you will see it around the graphics image now I'm going to move this over to the left I'm going to group it, select group in the Studio Pro and then I'm going to select it again I'm going to go to multiply, you can go to multiply by edit multiply object uh, but I like to use the quick method I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to multiply I'm going to select three mm, maybe four let's try it uh, four here is the number of copies spacing here is going to be 0 0.5 I'm going to select the right arrow and OK Oops. now I'll make it three then I'm going to select my row of coupons I'm going to right click multiply and I'm going to do a row down of two spacing here downwards is going to be 0.5 I'm going to select the arrow key and select OK and I've got my coupons and deselect now it's important that when you have these coupons that they do not be go beyond this black box here otherwise it will throw your alignment out now at this point it's a really good time to save your file so if you save it now and then you select all your coupons getting ready to print now and we're going to go over to the color transformation menu here and we're going to select null pen and this will take away our cut line because we don't want it to show when we print so now we're going to go straight to print do not save at this point otherwise you will lose your cut line so select file print your printer options might be slightly different but make sure you have borderless printing deselected and I'm going to choose other paper and select from my rear tray because that's where I have my paper for printing images and I'm going to select OK OK and now I'm going to print that and I will be back for part B um, and let me know how you get on with this video I'd love to hear your comments and hope it was helpful to you Thanks.